I'm trying to be a bit more edgy these days. Mm. I have never, I have never, ever, ever. Oh, yes. Always. No, but I'm on it. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on camera. Maybe next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was very bad. I look like a canary. That's not true. That's not true. Alex, are you ready? I'm very ready. Nope. I'm ready. These games make me nervous. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Never have I ever posted a topless selfie. Oh, no. No chance. Selfie? No. Topless selfie? No. I have never. I don't think. <laughs> I took a bit of thought. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> There's a few drivers who do it. But I have. Memory's a bit blurry sometimes, but I think I have. But no, I'm not you, George. Uh, I guess I have. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one? Uh, maybe more than one, yeah. I have. Not as much as George Russell. You have? No, selfie, no. Oh, okay. No. Selfie, no. Ah, yeah. Maybe yes, selfie, yes. Never have I ever regretted a haircut. I have. I have definitely regretted a haircut. Oh, no, I definitely have. How bad was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was very bad. Pff, terrible. It was pretty bad. I'm not going to say when and where, but I thought it was quite obvious. I'm never going back there again. Yeah, I look like a canary. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I was, you know, 12, 13 at school. All the girls liked me at the beginning of the year, and then it all just went to <laughs> after that. I'm kidding. I saw a picture I sent it to the hedges, and the guy's starting freestyling himself, especially on the back of my head. So it's like spiky down on the right on the bottom and shaved up on the side. So I wasn't happy with that. So I got it cut off afterwards. I feel like if you were driven at sea, you'd, you'd have done that. Glorious hair. Around 2008 to 2011, it was proper out of control. No, my mum is cutting my hair, so. My mum used to be my hairdresser for about 15 years. <laughs> Pretty much every time I go to the to, to cut my hair, I have regretted a haircut. Not that I asked for anything that I shouldn't have asked for. I'm usually disappointed when they cut it too short. I think this is on the limit of too short. So basically whenever they go too short, I am disappointed. If anyone hasn't regretted a haircut, I want to see what their hair looks like. Have you seen a fellow driver while you've been on holiday? Uh, I tried to avoid them. Oh yeah. Yes. Who? Charles. Who was that? Yeah. But that was organised. We went <laughs> in holidays together, so I guess it wasn't a surprise. Holiday, I think. No, actually, I've never managed to stay out of each other's way. On oh, holiday, no. I normally go to very different locations to most of the drivers. Yeah, I have. A couple of years ago, I bumped into Charles and, and Nicholas on, on holiday. Yeah, I have. I mean, I was in uh, LA and I saw Daniel driving around. Very random, but I did. <laughs> Never have I ever recorded a song. Recorded a song? Like singing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have never. I have never. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. You have? Like, yeah, you know, singing, maybe. Oh, go on, tell us more. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> but, like, not properly. Oh. Yeah. But there's, of course, there's also, whatever. Karaoke counts as uh, recording a song. I think lots of people recorded you anyway, so. <laughs> this was like 10 years ago or something, so. Would we be able to find it? Oh, no, no, I don't, no, I'm not on Spotify or anything, Jesus. It didn't go very well, it was short-lived. No, but I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> so maybe. Oh. <laughs> no. What was that? I am doing it now. Well, no, I'm lying. Uh, on the piano, but not singing. Which song? Uh, I think it was Jingle Bells or something. <laughs> it's not gonna be public. I mean, I just do it for myself. I try and produce songs. Oh. Early days. Oh, watch this space. Never have I ever forgotten a birthday or anniversary. Oh, everyone's. Oh, yes. Always. Oh my God, I'm so bad with birthdays, so yes. Oh, plenty of those. I've forgotten a lot of those. <laughs> I have. I'm, I'm terrible with that. No, I have. Yeah. Not gonna lie, sometimes I have to circle back on my, on my parents and say happy birthday a little bit late.
birthdays, anniversary, stuff like that. It's not my strength. I am really bad with names, birthdays, a weakness I have. I've missed a couple in my life, I think everyone has. I have not. I'm very good at birthdays and anniversaries. Yeah, I haven't. I did remember during a race once that it was Mother's Day though, and I forgot to say Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, no. Birthdays are tough. I try my best, but hmm. I won't forget yours. <laughs> I don't remember who, but uh, I'm sure I, I forgot something, but Lucky is very easy to communicate, so you can send them a text. <laughs> Never have I ever had an embarrassing nickname. Embarrassing? Yeah. I have. What is it? Tripod. <laughs> Elaborate. No, it's a top secret. It's secret within my friend group. <laughs> Can't elaborate too much on that. I'm afraid, sorry. <laughs> that's not embarrassing, that's but that's You're like... Proud. You play it like it's embarrassing. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Um, Chile is embarrassing, so yes. Well, I guess so, yeah. What is it? At Mercedes, they used to call me the beer police. I was just amazed how many beers they could drink on, well, an evening prior to, but anyway. <laughs> what was it? Esti Besti. I still have. I mean, maybe my, my sister would, maybe when I was younger, like Georgie Porgy, but. I wouldn't call that too embarrassing. Uh, she call, still calls me that now. Does she? <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Not really a nickname, but Lance has ants in his pants. Heard that one before. Yeah. What is it? Maybe next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever been starstruck by a celebrity. Ooh. Uh, I have. I'm trying to remember who it was. I mean, that's the beauty of the F1 paddock. There's a lot of celebrities to get starstruck by. Who? Jordan, Michael Jordan. My favorite one was uh, Virgin Van Dyke in the paddock. And a Usain Bolt. I met Brad Pitt in Austin, and that was uh, that was pretty surreal. Miami was a, a good one. There was a lot of very cool people there. Oh, actually, it was a strong men as well. I met David Beckham, actually, in Qatar in 20. 21, I think. So that was that was a very cool moment, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I say Jay Cho is the one of the Chinese uh, musical singer, and uh, he, he's kind of the guy I've been listening to the music since a very young age. No? No one? No. Hmm. Is there anyone you'd like to meet? No. But I'm sure I have. I think most of this was when I was a kid, when someone like Lewis when he came to a racetrack and that was kind of, you know, he was the hot shot back then. Yeah, I'd say I have starstruck, maybe is pushing it a little bit, but the first time I ever saw Brad Pitt, uh, I wanted to act quite cool, so I didn't want to take a photo of him as everyone else was. So I pretended to be on the phone and sort of took the photo on the side of my phone. So. I've still got it on my on my phone now, and I wanted to show him in Austin because we had a we had a chat, but it, it slipped my mind. So uh, next time. <laughs>